Hello, everyone. My name is Brian Mankin. I am the activities director here at Pine Island High School. And just going to walk you through um, how to use the, the new hometown ticketing option for a number of different things. Uh, the most pressing for your students is going to be the, the parking passes. So I'll show you how to do that. That's the only way you're going to be able to pay for your parking passes through this option. This is also uh, what you will, can use. You're not required to. You can still use cash, but this, this is the easiest way to purchase uh, single game tickets for you know volleyball, football, uh, anything that's, that's charged here this fall and winter uh, for JV and varsity contests. Uh, this could also be used uh, for season passes for adults, for students, for families. Uh, senior citizen uh, passes are, are different if you are a Pine Island resident or, or an Oco res resident. So within the district, those senior citizen passes are free and can be obtained at the district office. So let's start with those parking passes. Once this thing is made live, uh, it's, it's going to be found on the district website. And you're going to go into this list and, and find the, you know, whichever tickets you want to purchase. So let's start with the parking pass. So you can see it's listed there. You're going to click on purchase. And I'll walk you through a little bit of uh, steps that it would take. Hit that. And then you're going to have a map of the student parking lot. You can zoom in and out of there to find your favorite parking spot. Maybe you would really like number 58. So you're going to click on that parking spot, confirm it by choosing your seat, and then you're going to check out. Once you are uh, in this area to check out, and you have 15 minutes to complete it, and there's a number of boxes that have to be filled out. Uh, they're, they're all mandatory, but some are more important than others, but they're all mandatory. License plate number, that's very important, and then make and model of your vehicle. If you don't understand what that means, if you're driving a, a Subaru Outback, the make is the Subaru, the model is the Outback. Or if it's a, a Ford Focus, it's a, the make is Ford and the model is Focus. And then you enter your payment information here. This is stuff that you're probably all very familiar with. Okay, let's go to a different event. Let's say you want to go to the first home volleyball match. And this is only for home events. This is not for away, away matches for any of our sports. You're going to click on, um, you know, say you want to go to that first home volleyball match against Triton. You're going to click on get tickets. And, and there you can purchase adult tickets, you know, it's whatever quantity you need. And you can purchase uh, student and senior tickets as well. Again, remind you, if you are a resident senior, uh, senior citizen, then those passes are free and you need to get those at the district office. So maybe you want one adult pass and, and two students. Just click that, go to checkout, and you're going to have those those same you know boxes to fill out. So um, I hope that helps. It's pretty self-explanatory. Once you get into it, you know, you'll see that the passes are also available there. You know, student pass, adult pass, family pass, and um, there is a you know for us to have this hometown ticketing option, there is a cost. It's not. The cost is not put on, um, you know, the general public, the students or the, you know, fans. This is this cost is is covered by the district and it's minimal, but it's not passed on to you. So hope that helps. And let me know if you have any questions. You can always reach out to the high school office. All right. Thank you.